Morning all, it's day 98 of my chicken and broccoli diet. It's now Tuesday after Easter. Had the long weekend, um, been in Wales for that weekend. Laid off the chicken and broccoli, but didn't didn't go too mad on the food, to be honest. We was uh, we was pretty good. I did eat normal food, but I didn't eat much of it. You know what I mean? I didn't overindulge and you know, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with what we did actually. So that's a bonus. 10,000 steps, still right on top of that. Today is now day 90. If I complete today, that'll be day 93 of doing 10,000 steps. So that'll be my streak. That will my best ever, ever in my life, I think, is will be 93 days in a row. So, yeah, that, that, that's good, that is. So, anyway, yeah, I managed to keep up with that. Done a lot of walking. Went for a big hike around some woods. The name escapes me now, so that that was really good as well. Actually, that was that was quite an eventful day. Plus, obviously, being in Wales, there was a few steep inclines to to work your way up. You know, so obviously there was a few calories burned there. To be honest, it wasn't it wasn't easy at all. Not not doing them inclines. I'm not used to that. Not not at all. But uh, hopefully one day I'll get a bit fitter and be able to do it a bit little bit easier. But time will tell. Um, the only th other thing I've got to report really is what happened when I got on the scales. I'm less than a pound heavier, right? Less than a pound. So I think it, I, th I think that is worth it. I think obviously what I did, what I ate over those past four days, there was a little bit of junk food in there. We did have some, a couple of takeaways and whatnot and a, and a breakfast wrap yesterday. Mind you, I we had a breakfast wrap yesterday from a place called Tim Hortons. And on Mind Fitness Pal, the, the, the actual wrap itself was only for, was it 400, 410 calories? Which I didn't think was too bad, to be fair, for what you get. So that was nice. But yeah, there were there was some other picky food that I had, you know. No, nothing dramatic, nothing, nothing major. So um, putting on less than a pound... He's not too bad. And again, you know, I, I have weighed myself at the same sort of time. But I know it does fluctuate with water and, you know, undigested food and all that sort of stuff. And I did eat pretty late last night. I I got into Stevenage, I don't know, before midnight. And um, I just couldn't turn off. I, I set up the van, I went to bed, but I couldn't, I just couldn't sleep. I was awake for hours and hours and hours. And then finally I got up. Probably about half past three this morning. Drove over, drove over at McDonald's. Got got another coffee, and uh, sat and ate some chicken. You know, probably not ideal, but I don't know. I just, I just felt hungry, and obviously I couldn't turn off and go to sleep. So I think I've in, I've only had about I don't know less than an hour's sleep, and I'm really starting to feel it now. So I'm. Hoping today at work will fucking fly by so I can get back, get sorted and get some proper sleep. Anyway, so this week we'll be back on track, hitting the chicken and broccoli or green beans and some salmon and see what happens and continue to do my steps. So that's where we are. I'm boring myself. <laughs> it's because I'm so tired as well. That ain't helping. So yeah, didn't lose any weight. Put a little bit on, but no regrets at all. Anyway, that's where we are. I shall catch up with you later in the week. And um, let's hope we get some more nice weather and uh, I can do some more walks somewhere. So if you got this far, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And I'll speak to you soon.